Hello Mariners, welcome back to the channel. I am Parthos and welcome back to lovely Sowwind. This game is called Sowwind and you are not in the wrong episode. So this is in fact the Shimmer Tower. Over here we have Sandra, the big sh vessel, the big ship. I've yet to unload all the cargo actually, for the, all the mission cargo, look at all this. So let's take all this back and I'll be right with you. Here's the last of your tuna. Here's the last of your lamp. Your salmon, sir. Last box of dates. And a single box of goat cheese. That's all, I think, sir. And the sun's going down, so probably see you guys in the morning. Good morning, welcome back. A lovely new day. Let's see what the market has in store for us. Everybody's here. My favourite market store, yes. One of the things we said we needed was the Our Ank region map. We're not going there immediately, but it's going to be good to have it. And this actually is a navigation manual. I've never actually read it because I always assumed it was the same as the tutorial one. Oh yeah, tells you where the North Star is. Tells you where to line the North Star up according to the device. Like you want it on the actual wooden edge. Tells you how to use the sun compass. The chronometer is a precise clock calibrated to tell the time, the sun time, at longitude zero. By comparing the clock with the observed local time, you can determine your current longitude, which is east and west. At local noon, when the sun is directly south, check the clock time on the chronometer. Every four minutes of difference between the clock time and local time, noon, are equal to one degree of longitude. For example, if the chronometer reads 11.56 at local noon, your longitude is 1. That would be like 1 degree east of 0. So, yeah, that would be that's good. So at the bottom, another example, clock time at 12.22 at local noon, indicating longitude of minus 5.5. Okay. We're going to come for something different. We don't need that yet. Uh, should I buy this just to have it? So I can refer back because I might forget how many minutes equals yeah let's get it just uh i shouldn't forget but i like to do things legit rather than looking at wikipedia and stuff click that there and we need to have the Awank map oh crap i didn't want that oh. we've got the Awank map we were <laughs> i wanted the other one. Oh no oh, i don't sell it here Somebody in, the, somebody in the comments actually told me to get the, where would it be, the, the A-Stream map before we left Gold Rock City. But you can't buy it until you get there. Okay, well, there you go. I don't actually want this. i sell that. Never mind. Um, yeah, we'll buy the Corona meter for quite a lot of money. Ouch, that's a lot of money. But we're going to need it. We are going to need it. Eventually. We're going to need it eventually. It's quite expensive. Okay, let's buy it so we can practice. I think we then should do some missions to Oasis and back to get some more extra money. And then we'll go on our grand voyage from Goldberg City to Astrian. So let, let's buy this. Okay. Okay, that was expensive. That hurt the bank account. That hurt the bank account. Okay, where should we put it in our ship? Um, We could put it... In the bedroom. Oh, that closes. That's cool. Don't know why that's a feature. But that's a feature. Let's get a couple of extra lanterns and be on our way. Okay, what missions can we get? Any four oasis? Iron to oasis. Iron's pretty heavy, but I think we can do it with our big ship. Okay, 311 pounds. Iron to oasis. Let's, let's go for that one. We'll just stick these in the hold. Okay, we've got two barrels down there that's full, and this one is about halfway full, kind of. So, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. How's the wind blowing before we leave? This is the tricky part. And of course, we're being blown onto the harbour. But it is coming from behind, so let's do the back south first. I mean, I still think it's not going to work because it's going to have to try and push that in to do it. But anyway, we'll try it. We'll uh, just do a little bit rather than a lot. Right, that's the wrong one. Hang on. Right, let's get this out first. Like that. 
Wind actually might be slight mass. Okay. And now let's release this sl hang on. First, before we do that, let's take let's not make that silly mistake again. Let's take these ropes off. And the back one. Oops. In fact, that's actually made it um move. Right, release these. Like there. Grab the wheel. I'd like to go right, please, if we can. If possible. Are we actually going to do it? Are we going to do it? Sandra, are you doing it? Are we leaving? This is momentous. Of course, the wind is about to be really bad for us. But that's okay. Keep on going right, Sandra. I know it's a tricky one. We've got to avoid those sandbanks. And then we'll go straight up that way. As long as we don't go into the wind, which is behind us. Yeah, okay, the sounds are starting to laugh, but we'll straighten up to about there. And then we've probably got to pull this in. So that we can get further into the wind. We might need more sail now because drop this fully. In fact, let's do it both. Uh, let's drop this fully too. Let's pull this in. Oh, it is already pulled in. Okay, it's good. We're doing it, Sandra. You've been named. You now have lost any kind of remnants of bad luck. It's all brilliant now. Slightly go to the left a bit. No, don't go too close to the sandbanks, but I think everything's lovely right now. And as we leave Gold Rock City and go on our first navigational training mission, the expert. The experimental navigational training mission to Oasis to make a bit of money and learn how to sail the ship. Learn how to navigate. We're off and it's glorious. Hard to port as we go around the sandbank. Do not hit it and we're gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Going to be awesome. Keep on going. Alright, let's grab you and then lock you. Oh, Sandra, you are exceptional. Okay, let's straighten you up. And now, put these sails out with a bit of... Oh, not that one. Let's let you out to catch all the wind you want. So the wind is blowing north. Now I'll just stop making that laughing sound. So double check. We are going north, roughly. And we are gonna have to go slightly northwest. So looking on the so looking on the ocean map, if that the toolbars go, we need to go basically directly north from Gobble City and a little bit to the left. Now, last time we went to Oasis, they hadn't had any lights that it would there was no lights or anything to, to see the islands by by night at night time but reading the uh, developer notes they've added navigational lights for mariners who want to dock at night time okay we need to drink we need to eat we need to be merry have our fill fill this up it is a lot better actually having a bottle than having a uh, a cup now we've only got last three tuna in there i don't really want to uh don't really want to use those tuna because they're kind of like an emergency tuna. Oh, caught one already. A good omen for the start of any voyage is to catch a fish straight away. And as the sun sets behind us, we have caught a shimmer towel. 
Can I get it straight on? Yes. Now, did I say shimitars don't break your hooks? <laughs> oh, they do. I don't remember. Let's make sure we're going properly north. We're going, at the moment, we're going kind of east a little bit, which is a bit too much the wrong direction. We don't want to head that way for too long. So about there, it's probably actually perfect. If we could maintain this kind of course. Just like that, that would probably be perfect. How's the wind looking? That's great. That's good, I think. Let's check the, um, the speedometer. And we go in around eight knots. Get out there for now. If I pulled the sail in a bit, the sail here be more in line with the wind. We can see if it's more or less efficient. That one there, and then this one. Making sure we're still going in that direction, of course. Roughly, yes. Now I'll pick up the speedometer again. How is our speed? Largely the same. Or was it a bit faster before? Roughly eight. Okay, roughly eight. I can't remember what it was before. Right, quickly check. Let that out. Let this out. Speedometer. Um, slightly more than eight, but it kind of more erratic. Slightly less than eight. Um, is this cooked? The green lantern is not helping much. <laughs> let's turn you off. No, let's turn you on. Eat you. Delicious. Okay, that's we're heading roughly, roughly the right direction though. So let's get some sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night everybody. Okay, it's morning. Looking at the clock, it is 7 o'clock in the morning and we're pretty actually hungry. Are we going the right direction? Roughly... A rough direction of north. Let's get back on track. We've drifted a little bit to the port's direction. In fact, we'll probably go actually more directly north now rather than whatever that was. How's the wind looking? Wind's still good, actually. The waves are a little bigger. It's Gold Rock City behind us. Quite a distance behind us. Okay, priority actually probably is get some food caught. I doubt we're um, near Oasis yet, but it's hard to tell. This vessel is definitely faster than Doris. We don't know how much faster because Doris um, didn't, well, we didn't have the speedometer available to us when we had Doris. No, she was a good ship. But, see the water appears to be going quite fast, even though we're quite high up, which tells you that we actually are going a lot faster than it appeared we were going on Doris. Okay, so, tuna. Another hooked fishy. Ah, 
Ah, uh, Shimmer Towel. Bit onto the grill. Let's see if we can get another one. The time to charm. Oh, we've hooked one. That's three fish. One more. We've got a full batch of the grill. Oh, is it gone? I think I've dropped it. I don't think we can dive in because this ship is way too fast. <laughs> if I jumped in, I don't think I'd get back on again. And I've lost it. Oh my god. Okay, well let's be, let's either not cook right by the. Oh. Even I move the grill, so we. Ah, oh, hang on. Are oh, we quite hungry? But we've got that bar behind. Let's make sure we're going the correct direction. That's a shame. Um, can we see any islands up ahead or anywhere? Not yet. Getting a bit stormy weather, it's looking a bit rain cloudy. Okay, let's try and make up the loss of that little fish that we uh, somehow escaped us. The one that got away. It was this big. Holds out hands. Wide. You have to exaggerate the fish that got away of how big it was. Okay, let's be, be safe this time. Not that I fish in real life, of course, but that's the... Uh, Stereotype. It would be good if there was a fish that was like super huge, a rare kind of breed. I mean, the eel was quite filling when you catch an eel, that's quite a. but it's not actually very large. Okay, what is it going to be? Is it a salmon? Oh, it's an eel! Is it, is it an eel? Wow! Okay, let's um... Oh dear, that's, that's thunder! That's thunder! What happened there? <laughs> Hang on. <gasps> dun dun dun! Oh no, which one? The wind's blowing. Okay, the wind is blowing it right directly onto us from left to right. There's a storm on our port side. The rain, the rain's coming, the storm's coming. We need to make sure we're going in the right direction. Uh, let's go right. You go right, straighten her up. Okay, how fast are we going? How it all sounds? Um, probably should pull the sounds in, at least this one. Match the direction of the wind. It's a time to pull this out in. Ok, 
Okay. We're still going north. Pretty much. Are you good? Pretty good. You could be you could be a bit more pulled in. All being said. Our first storm in a big ship. How's it gonna how we how are we gonna fare? Sandra, I believe in you. You can do it. You're a big vessel. It's not like being in the Doris, but we don't know, we haven't tried it yet. Maybe we need to raise the sails. Maybe the sails are gonna with the storm with these big old sails, it's gonna tip us over. We are gonna have to be careful. What I do would like what I would like to do though is measure the speed. Because we've got storm winds now. Oh, 10, 11 knots. Okay. We need to escape this as much as we can. This is going to make us get there quicker, but look, even all the horizon is kind of dim. Maybe if we saw an island. Or maybe if there, if there was an island there, we wouldn't better see it. Although we can still see Gold Rock over there in that direction, but... Oh, hang on. There is actually something there. There is actually... I actually saw something there. Dead ahead of us it was. There. There it is. That's Oasis. Okay, we're nearly there. Um, well, well, we can see it at least. It's visible. It's within visible range. I reckon around 12 miles away. This ship's fast. In fact, how fast are we going right now? Oh, we're going... Whoa. What happened? I came out of the water. 11 knots. Okay, it's so windy that the speedometer's blowing out the window out of the water. Uh, <laughs> we need to go right a bit actually, which actually suits us with the wind. We go right a bit, like, grab the wheel. Bring up this. Harder to the right, now straighten up. Oh dear. It's dark and ominous, and it's chasing us. It's chasing us. Okay, let's eat. Anything cooked? Uh, the shimmer's out. Well cooked. Let's have um, the eel as well. It's been a while since we've had an eel. They all seem to be cooked. Look how much the eel gives you. And these, because they are cooked, so we we'll just take these off and then have those at a later date. We are fully nourished. Okay, we're going too far to the right now. About there. Directly north? Yes. Oh, navigational skills are... I mean, it's probably more luck than judgement. But, you know... Whatever works. It's the results that matter. It's a lot easier than that first time we came to Oasis on Doris though. Thundra is a much more seaworthy vessel. Are we even out, almost outrunning the storm here? 
How's the wind going? We'll probably pull this back one in a bit. Maybe the front one. That one's quite good. No, we'll put it in. It's almost left to right now, the wind. We want that 45 degree kind of shenanigans. Okay, we can actually see it now from this view. Of course, it's going to mess up the south direction, but there we go. It's wet and it's windy, but this is the life of the mariner. This is what we live for. We live for days like these. Because without the wind, the rain, the storms and the thunder, we can't have the rainbows and the sun. Yes, rainbows. That reminded you, didn't it? There might be a rainbow. Let's hope, let's fingers crossed for a rainbow. That would truly be a blessing. Okay, I didn't fill this up. Doing this so it stops flashing at us. Put you there. It's a bit dark, but everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be okay. There's Oasis in the distance. We can see it from miles away. Navigationally, it's uh, quite easy to get to with Doris. See, we probably would not have seen that in Do with Doris because before there was no lights on it so it was doubly hard not only was we a small little vessel but there was nothing really to help us navigate there how close are we? look it's a proper lighthouse it's a proper lighthouse they built it it wasn't a dev update the people living there heard our um Tales of Woe, a navigational Tales of Woe, and they thought, you know what we're going to do, Pathos? Next time you come, we're going to build a light lighthouse to aid you. Now, quit complaining. And that's what they said, and that's what they did. People of their word, we didn't actually enter the eye of the storm. We didn't actually enter the dark clouds. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Couldn't ask for better. We used the storm to our advantage. We got the extra wind. We got the speed. And we escaped the worst of it. I'm addicted to seeing our speed now. I'll back down to eight knots. Nine knots. So, so we saw a storm on the horizon, but you know what we said to ourselves? But well, that's okay. And it was. Land ahoy! Oh look, we can actually see the... Um, so that's the... That's the um, lighthouse. But there's actually the island over there. Trees and such likes. So do we not land on the island part? We land on... Oh yeah, of course, it's a lighthouse, but it's not like... Um, it's actually a lighthouse with actual real fire, so... Yeah, smoke as well. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This game is an epically brilliant game. Oh, don't you come under here and you can escape all the... You can escape all the, um, the noise of the rain. It's all cosy down here. You can get a bed, it's all cosy. See what time it is. Half past five. And then if you go back up here... The actual weather. Brilliant game. Brilliant game. 
I don't know where to land, where to land though. Okay, let me just have, a, have a look at a little look at this map again. Doesn't really tell us anything. The sun is setting though. We might enter in the morning. We get roughly close enough. I'm gonna aim left of the lighthouse. And give us the option of going in between what looks like two islands. So we'll go over here. In fact, that looks like a quite a lot. We're quite close. Quite close. It seems of that the island of that lighthouse. Close than I thought initially. In fact, the danger of running the ground. To be fair, that's probably that is probably where I ran the ground the lot the first time on the way out. Maybe I don't know. Oh crap! Pull, pull, pull! Hard to pull. Sandbank, dead ahead. Cripes, that's close. That would have been ironic. I do kind of want to visit that. <laughs> that lighthouse though. <laughs> yeah, we are closer than, uh, than it seems. Do what? Let's um, do what we said. We're going to pull up the cells. And... In fact, let's drop this. There we go, let's stop us. We're close enough to land for it to... It's the weight of the cable is actually what stops you. And the anchor helps take it down. Um, yeah, pull this up. Are you fully up yet? Uh, this one over here. Let's have another snack. Because I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night craving fish. Looks like we don't get to see the rainbow because night time came. And rainbow is only happening in the day. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll head into Oasis. Good night everybody. Well, it's still dark. What time is it? What time is it? Okay, four in the morning. Before dawn. That's obviously where we've got to go. Now the storm's abated, we can see the lights. So this is handy. So basically, the land just left of the lighthouse, but that's where we've got to go to. Okay, well, we'll wait until dawn and we'll head in. No need to rush these things. And I'll see you in a few moments when the sun comes up. Okay, the sun is coming up over the horizon by the lighthouse, rising from the uh, east, of course. There's our anchor chain. Look where the wind's blowing. The wind's blowing to the right. So I think what we'll do is we'll carry on around the island until the other side and dock. I don't think we can do that actually. That's going to make it harder to dock. So I think we'll carry on this direction actually and then turn hard to port through the wind and then dock on that jetty there because of that sandbank up ahead. It would have been harder to go around the island in the other direction. So, first of all, I suppose, let's weigh anchor. Marvellous. Takes a while to big old anchor chain. Okay, so let's uh, actually just get the, take the, the front one and release this all the way, pretty much. And make sure we're going straight on. We are. Cool. And now just pull out of this. 
the window action. Just need to put it pretty much tight as we can. There we go. And then, can't see a reason not to do the same with this one. Could potentially pull it tight before we dropped it, but that's okay. And we are on the way. Might even go around the lighthouse again. Taking a look if there's any, if there's any doors or people there. Without getting too close. And then go left onto that jetty. With the perfect wind. Almost. Just need to build up a bit of speed. And then we'll do hard to port. Go now. Hard to port. Hopefully we can get through the wind, can we? I'm just thinking it should, would have been better to put up one of these sails. I think we'd have caught the wind now. Put up the back sail might help us. Uh, this one. Might help us turn now. Just help us, help us get through the, uh, the oncoming wind. Because now it's pushing from right to left on the front of the vessel rather than the front and the back. So this should help us sail, uh, make that turn. Things we've learned in previous episodes. They're all coming together, guys. You see, I do slowly learn. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Why is that not locked? So I didn't lock the wheel and that's why... Uh, that's what happened there. Making that turn. Glorious. We could the other sail down but do we need it need it now we're not trying to get anywhere fast we're just trying to get home we're just trying to get uh, alongside but what we could do is let this out okay, like that I do feel like a bit of speed might help what speed out of curiosity are we going we're addicted to this thing Wow. Really? Three knots, four knots. Four and a half knots. That makes sense. Eight knots usually. One cell, half the speed. Okay. Let's uh, let this out a bit. Let's drop this. Should we have enough time as we make that turn to the left to pull up the sails, hopefully. Oasis Island. You know, returning. You can, you can put the fire out now in the uh, the old lighthouse. And go left a bit. Get a bit closer to the land, I suppose. Although that is going to make the turning harder because it'll be a sharper turn. Uh, the sails can go out now because it's largely behind us, the wind. Put it like that. And like that. I think the wind direction's good, but just the wind speed is not. It isn't very fast. It's not that windy today. That's what it feels like.
gonna get a good thumbnail. <laughs> For the old YouTubes. By the way, my friends, mariners, viewers, commenters, likers and subscribers, thank you so much for all you do. Thank you for your ongoing support. Thank you for the people who like. Thank you for the people who subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, what you'd like to see, where you'd like me to go, of course, we are going to go north to, is it the Artemis? Where is it? Is it the, to the Astrian Island? If you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see me do in this game, where the adventures should take us, you let me know in the comments. I love reading every single comment. I really do. Every time I get a comment, whether if I'm at work or not, I will read it and then reply when I get home. It makes my day. So thank you. But yes, we are coming in. To, to what? I'm going to take this up now. I'm going to take the back cell up. We're going to have enough speed for that. And then we're going to pull this in tight. Keep it tight now. Let's keep it real. And we'll sail in nice and gently on the old big vessel to dock at Oasis. With the good ship Sandra. I'll pull this as well because even though it's not um, a proper sail, it will still affect the wind. Uh, if we can go left a bit, it would be great to line up. We can go left and then right at the last minute that would be perfect everything's coming up Sandra oh crap don't drop it oh it's a bit of shallow the nest there it's shallow there Okay, now turn right, hard right, hard right, hard right, lock it, lock it, pull this up, no, drop it, cripes, drop it, pull this up, pull that up, pull that up, pull that up, lock it, run round here, grab the wheel, straighten her up, straighten her up like that, pull it in all the way, Lock it, grab this. Oh, it's a bit of a jump. Ah, we made it. And on you go. On you go. That should hopefully stop it. <laughs> that should stop it. Okay, I'm gonna just jump over. Jump. We made it. If we cannot, if, if we don't get our feet wet, it's, a, it's actually a successful landing. That's how I look at it. Put you there. It's awesome. That's the back spring. That's the fourth spring. We did it. Sandra, you docked quite successfully at Oasis. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm so happy. We did it. It's brilliant. This reminds me of a previous mission with Doris. Oh, it's me again, dude. Remember from before? Big ship now. Bit moving up in the world. And last time, here I stood, and this place here was the thumbnail of when we came here in the Dow, Doris the Dow, before that lighthouse existed. It was quite a trip. Before I knew how to navigate, before I knew how to use the, uh, the quadrant. But if you want to watch that episode, if you haven't seen it, that's quite fun. In fact, watch all of the episodes. Tell your friends, tell your family, click the likes, click the subscribe button, because in the next episode, we're going back to Gold Rock City, and then it will be a start to the longest voyage we've ever done to Astrium. And until next time, I've been Pothos, you've been awesome. Goodbye. <laughs>